Hello, and welcome to the show, The Road to Success. I want to thank you for tuning in and giving me the opportunity that God has given me to give to you on this day. My name is William Murray. I'm the CEO of the Murray Group. We teach the thought and action process to success. We help you to grow your business or your life in any direction that you want, whether it's personal, spiritual, financial, or entrepreneurial. What we do is get you there. We're the roadmap. We're your guidelines, give you your success, your goals, your dreams. I want to introduce you to my co-host, Mr. Kevin Langford. Good evening. How you doing? I, too, would like to welcome you to the Mary Group and to the Road to Success TV. We're even going to call this episode Success Street because it's easy to be on Easy Street, be on the path to prosperity, be on the super information highway because we're in a new economy and we're going to share with you. It's an interactive show. We're going to share some things with you that you will be able to interact with us. Right, William? Oh, yes, no doubt. Uh, what we want to do is, is, is get you, teach you, guide you, and show you what it's going to take today for you to be able to reach and get where you want to go. Uh, success has a process. We're going to teach you and show you and guide you and just the process. Kevin and I, we, we've uh, been in entrepreneurs. We've been out there among a lot of people, teaching, guiding, speaking. And now we have a chance to do it on TV. We're going to give it to the world. And tonight's episode is going to be a little loose because it's our chance to introduce ourselves to you and introduce the concept of advancing your career, launching a new one, or being recognized as a leader in your area of expertise. I'm the author, I didn't mention that, I'm the yes. author of Vettering Your Best, Using Your Strengths to Springboard Success. So we're talking about the road to success. Yes. And then we're going to also talk about the springboard to success so that you take the things that you have done already, whether you made the best lasagna or whether you invented the best app known to mankind, you can always improve upon that bestness because the biggest room in the house is the room for improvement. And yes. we got a lot of sayings like that that we're going to use. Yes, and because, you know, success, everything. Regardless of what is everything, everything goes through thought. And the reason we teach the thought and action, because once we get you to understand the thought process of success and what it takes and the correct way to think success, and then comes the action. Because success is only two things. There is no third. Success is only two things. One is giving to your God, and the second is working toward it. It's thought and action. What do you think? How are you thinking? And the actions that you're going to do behind your thought and the guidance that we're going to give you, Kevin and I, to get you where it is that you want to go. I mean, it's not hard. Success is very easy. All you have to do is have the roadmap, the guidelines on how to get where it is you want to go. Kevin and I are going to get you there from week to week to week. Each week is going to be different. It's going to, it, it, it's going to be like going across country. You've got to know the highways, the turns, the mountains, the ups and downs in order to get there. Well, that's what we're going to do. Uh, Kevin, I'm the thought and action process person. And Kevin is the one that teaches, that knows the IT and all oh, yeah. technology. And well, that's because we're in a digital economy. See, yeah, there, yeah. There, there's the old school way of making money. It used to be a commercial a long time ago. Uh, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. I earn it. Yeah. But now, in 2013, in the 21st century, there's a new economy. It's called the digital economy. Everybody you know who's got an iPad, iPod, uh, they're on the internet, they've got their own emails, even kids. Now, there are two kinds of people in the 21st century now. There are people that are a part of the digital economy and people that are going to be a part of yeah, the digital no economy. So what no we want to do is show you how to navigate through the different paths to prosperity and how to do it in a digital way, how to utilize uh, social media, how to utilize the internet, how to utilize the technology that exists now where people are not only making money, they're making their money make money. So yes. we recommend you get a pencil and paper, 
get ready to take notes with each episode because it's a little later. Like I said, we're going to give you a way to interact with us. So we want to know exactly where you are in your life. What do you want to do and how do you see yourself in the coming year and give yourself a challenge? We're going to challenge you too. Oh, no, the what we want to do, our goal is to take, is to make it fun for you, make it enjoyable for you. You know, if, if we're going to, it's just such a, Kevin and I were talking how easy it really is once you, you know, you know the process. You know, well, yeah. you know, success, you know, you, you are going to be able to catch the elevator. You can't catch an escalator there. You got to take the steps. What athlete, what professional out there do you know doesn't have a coach? Tiger Woods. Yeah, Tiger Woods. Uh, not only did he have a coach, well, his father coached yes. him uh, originally in his life, and then he, as he began to set his goals toward greatness, he still wants to beat out um, Nicholas. Yeah, right? everybody wants to break, break that record. He wants to break that record, so he's still working toward that. And then when his career took a turn, he got a new coach yeah, it's and evolved. reinvented himself. It's called, and he's, he's evolving. Like, just like you and I, Kevin, you know, even with we being experts in our field, we still realize that we're evolving. I mean, you got mm -hmm. your, you had your Michael Jordan had a coach. You right. had your Magic Johnson had a coach. You got your Oprah Winfrey's. All of them have coaches. I was watching a program that uh, Will Smith was on, and he's talking about how he got people always around him to coach him, to make him better. Yeah. And now he's one of the top paid actors in the world. Yes, no really? question. No, no question. And he's still striving for more. You, so the, the whole point of the Road to Success TV is so that we can lay out some principles for you. We can give you some strategies, some tips, and techniques to get it done. And like I said, tonight we just want to introduce ourselves, let you know what you can expect in upcoming episodes and in upcoming um in the upcoming chances. Yeah, in the series. Yeah, in yeah, the whole that's series. The series. That's yes, the that's what, yeah, yeah. Well, right. that's what I'm here for. No, we, we get, you know, got it. Okay, we're jelly. <laughs> we're jelly. That's it. <laughs> fact that what we're doing, we're giving to you the gift, knowledge, and education that God has given to us. We're giving it to you. We enjoy teaching, being in front of people, guiding you, helping you get where you're comfortable, and you can reach back and bring someone with you. Like the saying, each one teach one, mm -hmm. you know, you pass it on. Well, Kevin and I are passing it on. We're, we're in the process, too, of, of learning. Now, we've been all over the country speaking, teaching. We've been on the air a number of times, mm -hmm. guiding, teaching. Uh, we've been to universities, uh, companies, and, yeah. and coaching and teaching. So now that we have the opportunity, because of today's age and technology, well, we can bring it to you on TV. Yeah, well, in my radio show... Uh, on WICB. Can yeah. I say that? Yeah. <laughs> in, my radio, in my radio show, I try to inspire people with, uh, with different ideologies. It's a gospel radio show, so there's nothing more inspirational than gospel music. But at the same time, I try to share ideas with people. Uh, for example, I have Motivation Monday. We talk about the motivation, and that motivation is about taking action. It's about knowing what your goals are and being... Uh, not only are you motivated uh, as an internal thing or because someone's saying the word motivation, you think you should be motivated. <laughs> no, the, 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 success, the successful people are, have a discipline. They do what they now, have to do opposed to just doing what they think. That's a big word. That is a big, powerful word, discipline. Mm -hmm. Because you have to have yourself, you have to give yourself you know, discipline. You have to be very disciplined. Yeah. Uh, your rituals. Rituals are very important. What is it you do like mine? Now, me. 
every evening, every day, every evening I, man, I demand, I must do six hours. I do two hours of reading, I do two hours of writing, and I do two hours of listening. Because I'm always listening to someone. You know, I'm mm -hmm. listening to, I mean, listen to another speaker and YouTube. I use okay. YouTube a lot because that's where everyone who speaks puts something on of their knowledge and information. Right. You know, you have books on there. The greatest book, one of the greatest books ever written. Think, Think and, and Grow, grow rich. rich by Napoleon Hill. Yes. You know, I was telling you earlier. And he also wrote Laws of Success, but that was written back in uh, 1932. 30, something like that, yes. Mm -hmm. And it's just that uh, it's it a gentleman I met, you know, we, uh, I heard him being interviewed. Mm -hmm. And he's a multi-billionaire multi with the B. And they asked him the question, he says, what is it, what one thing was it that drove you that made you be able to make your billion? So and what his did reply, he say? I mean, it was amazing. I, I would have never thought that. He says, I've read Think and Grow Rich over 80 times. Wow. Hey, just imagine that one <laughs> book. Well, well, I've read Think and Grow Rich 13 times. Well, I'm, I'm, So I'm, I'm, I guess I got a few more to go. <laughs> I tell you, I've read it so many times, man, that I've marked up so much. I had to get another book to start off because it was like I was reading, you know, <laughs> just everything was marked. Well, I used to do a, um, I used to do a teleseminar. I used to do a teleconference, rather. And uh, the people that were in my conference, we read Think and Grow Rich together, yes. which might be a good idea. Well, you know, we're going to do that. We're going to give them book assignments. I mean, it's up to you. Like I said, what's the saying I told you? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Right. You can give a person wisdom and knowledge, but you can't make them think. What that means is we can give it to you, but we can't make you use it. Mm -hmm. It's totally up to you to use the information and knowledge that we give you. It's up to you. Everything is centered on you. You, you are right. the CEO of you. Yeah, and I want to share. I want to share this thought with you about visualization, positive visualization. We were created in the image of the Creator, therefore we are creators. Oh no! Doubt. So think about that for a moment. Everything that you or anyone else has ever created since the beginning of time began with a single thought. Well, I knew I you would like that. I yeah, knew I you would like that. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. You know, like I tell people, you know, you look at, don't care what you see, what is around you, a chair, a desk, a computer, a plane, a car, a spoon, a fork, was someone else's idea. They just took it and ran with it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, I said, well, I, you know, and I, I have this posted. I have this posted on my wall going into my bathroom. Because, right. you know, it says, in, in the forest, the tallest oak tree was once an acorn. It was just one that held its ground. <laughs> That's good. Now, the, the whole idea of that is the, the fact that the acorn continued to grow into a tall oak tree. Uh, sometimes we think that our goals are too small. We think that what we do doesn't really matter in the, in the whole scheme of things. But what you do is you strategize. And we're going to give you a strategy in a little bit. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step strategy in helping you visualize setting your goal and getting things going. But you don't have to get it right. You just have to get it going. going yeah. Everything. Because what's the first thing that, that Kevin said when he first started saying speaking? He said, get a pencil and paper. The most important thing you can do is write it down. I don't care what it is. You've got to put it in writing. There's something out there I tell people about 90, my, my system of 95-95, which means you have a 95% chance of succeeding if it's in writing, and you have a 95% chance of failure if it's not. The choice is yours. What wow. do you want? You want the 95% chance of success or the 95% chance of failure? Just put it in writing. Because what, 
Look at how many people out there, great people, have all these great books, has these books they've written. Their uh, books of life, what they've done, what they... They go back to where they kept anything in, 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 in laws. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there's a book in all of us. There's a book in all of us. Your life is a book. Yeah. As you go through life and people enter and exit your life, all you're doing is turning the page. All that's right. all you're doing. All right. That's, I see that. I so see that. Your, your life is the same as a book. Now, sometimes you have to um, be aware of the people in your life, the people oh, around no you. Yes. You know, oftentimes your parents may mean well. They may have a sincere motivation and they're concerned for you and they're saying, don't try that. Um, you, might, you might not succeed. And sometimes they instill fear in us just, or we're conditioned by television that oh. it's supposed to happen in a microwave second. But what you want to do is to make sure that the people in your inner circle are there to celebrate you, not tolerate you. Yeah, yeah, naysayers. Everyone yeah. has in their life a naysayer. Or, or, Somewhere or whiners and, uh, you know, what's the other word? Whiners, moaners. Um, and and the, can't doers. And can't do it. <laughs> right. yeah. You know, but you, you, know, you don't pay that. You don't argue with them. You don't tell them, oh, yes, I can't. You just show them. Yeah. Don't worry it. about it. Just show them. And sometimes it might be tough to let people in your life go. You know, I mean, the, the, the people that want to stand around the water cooler and uh, just talk about uh, last night's game or how bad the job is, how tough the boss is, how, how miserable uh, they, are. they are, and they want you to join the pity party. You yeah. might have to step away from the water cooler pity party and, and, be your, and step out on your own goals, believe in yourself enough. Now... Like the same goes, and I'm gonna I'm see. I'm a, as you can tell, I'm a, I'm a junkie for people saying that's they. they yeah, they, yeah, they, you, that's the third you're, you're a third line. Library, a library yeah, that, of that, saying. That, that, and you know, and they say, you know, sometimes you're the teacher, and sometimes you're the student. Mm -hmm. Well, the only time that I'm the teacher is when I'm on stage or I'm before camera. Other than that, I'm always a student. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, so you've got to watch and observe and learn. I mean, I do my six hours minimum a day, but that doesn't mean that's all I do is my six hours. Sure. Because I have to get up in the morning and I got to prepare my mind. See, one thing I don't do when I get in the morning is turn on the news because it's all negative. And that's not what you want. You want positive. So when I get up in the morning, I either play something of affirmation. Right. I have tapes that I've done of shows. I'll watch me. Right. Or i watch other speakers who's going to uplift me. Or I have books that's going to uplift me. And that's the way to uh, add coaching into your life. And that's why we recommend coaching as a part of your success strategy. Put that on your roadmap to success. Make that a part of the springboard to your success because you gotta have a mastermind group like Murray coaches me and I coach Murray and it's a mastermind group where, where he's weak, I'm strong, where I'm strong, where he's, where I'm weak, he's strong. Yeah. That's what well, you, well, you know what they say, man, the great saying out there that you hear all the time from George Frazier is it takes teamwork to make the dream work. And it does. I mean, yeah. you see Kevin and I on stage here. On, we in front of the camera, but what you don't see behind us is the is the producer, Ayo Manfima, and then we have the sound engineer pa Pascal. See, that's our team. We, we're the, we're right. the, it's a team. Yeah, it and it does the take the team teamwork to make the dream work. Right. And so, just like we promised. Now, again, I don't want you to miss out on the opportunity to interact with us. I know you got your pencil and your paper, so write this down. It is. The Road, Road to, to Success, success 2013.com. Now, stop. After you've written that down, stop what you're doing. And I want you to think about this. We're going to give you the strategy now that's going to move you forward absolutely free right here on Road to Success TV. First of all, if you want to advance your career, if you want to launch a new one, if you want to be seen as a recognized leader in your area of expertise and passion, 
then you've got to visualize. There's no one who you can think of that's a big success that you can think of. Name your, your biggest success, whether it's uh, Brad Pitt or Denzel, Halle Berry or Angelina Jolie. I'm just picking those names out. They all visualize who they wanted to be and where they will be. And they are all coached. They're all They're coached. All coached. They're all coached. I mean, anytime you got the best of the best and the greatest of the greatest that have a coach, why would people think I don't need one? Yeah. Well, here, here's your free coaching session right now. On that piece of paper, first you want to do is write down all of the things you want to accomplish well, in let, 2013. Let, 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 let's do this. Let's give them some homework from John. Oh, well, I'm, I'm trying, trying to give him that. Okay. I'm trying okay. to give that. Yeah. Uh, but, but I'm, I would tell you. I'm trying to give that. <laughs> That's a vision board. The book I need to wear when they rehearse. Vision board. I like that, that. That's what you got to put together is your vision board. I like that. But that's different well, than this. Well, that's still the same thing. I need to wear this when rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go ahead. What are you saying? You do your vision board. Your vision board is where you just get a, a, a poster board, right. get some magazine, as get some glue. As a matter of fact, what in life do you want? And you put on that poster board. Because what you're doing when you do that. Now, there, right. there's, there's a, a powerful, powerful. It's, it's a universal God law. As a matter of fact, next week I'll bring my vision board in. Yes, and we'll, we'll show, show you an it. example of how to set one up. You just put on there, you cut out what it is you want. What in life okay. do you want? Okay, meanwhile, that's step one. Write down everything you want to accomplish in 2013. Step two is be specific. Very specific. Don't say, I want to be rich. That's not specific. No. You say, I want to, in five years, make three million dollars that's a goal okay even better you can say immediately in the next 100 days give yes. yourself a 100 day challenge in the next 100 days i want to make five thousand dollars in the, tell and, them about our challenge and then we've got we've got we've a 100 day challenge. challenge and this well, is part of it this yeah, is part all of we it. got left now is what we got what the 77, 77 days in our, our current 100 day challenge. challenge so when you challenge yourself then you, it becomes an accountability. And if you do it in your mastermind group, like we have challenged each other, yes. you do it in your mastermind group, then you're accountable to each other. And we are always saying, wait, how many days are left? What are we doing? What are we accomplishing? That's why we're doing Road to Success TV today. finished Road to Success 2013.com last night. Yes. We <laughs> tested it this morning and uh, we got a few people. We've already got, some, we've already got some hits on it already. So people, so people are seeing the value. Now, that's what gets you success. Success is you showing people value. When you give people value, that's how your success is. Your success grows. If you don't give them value, then what good are you doing? Right. Now, more things about the specificity of it, or being specific, more things that you want to do Ooh, about big, that. Big, fancy words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I promise I was going to keep it down. Keep the words down to the Obama level, right? Well, the more things about being specific, make sure you, you say the right colors. What color do you want your dream car to be? What, uh, how big is the, your dream home? Yeah, 3,500 uh, square feet. Don't say, I want a big house. Right, right. How big is your dream home? Uh, how much money is in your bank? How much money, uh, what college are you sending your kids to? Now, all of those things are about being specific. As we're, we're winding down in time, the final step is to read the list daily and make uh, it a habit. Three times a day. Three, once in the morning to renew your mind from what you wrote down last night. Because every night you got to write in, in your journal. You read in the morning, you write, it, you write in it in the afternoon and read it, and then at night you bring it up to date. It's three good. times a day. And I mean, you, we giving them the, we're giving them the map to success. That's the we're map. We're telling you, success is so easy. You say, well, okay, that's easy. I told you success is easy. It's crystallizing your goals and making it a habit. Because yes. the, the, the successful people have a habit of doing and thinking in successful ways. Successful stick people with do. us. Stick with us. We're going to help you change your thoughts and change your life. You're going to be able to move forward. And this, just this exercise right here, believe it or not, visualizing your goals is going to change your life. It's not magic. It's not a magic formula. There it's is no secret routine. to success. Success, there is no secret. 
You're talking about, well, let me give you the secret. There is no secret to success. But I like the movie The Secret. I, thought it I mean, that, yeah, I thought that was, that, but that, <laughs> it didn't tell you the secret. It just told you that it gave you the mindset. Right, exactly. Right, those nuts. See, when I saw them, when I saw them, I said, I've been doing this for years. That's no secret. Man. I've been talking about this on stage for years. That's no secret. Yeah, exactly. But they named it the secret because secret is a powerful word where you think, well, nobody knows it but me. Yeah, yeah. And, and not only that, um, because they were talking about, and we might be on a tangent, but because they were talking about the law of attraction, that's how they kind of gave that the secret. But basically, when you visualize, write down your goals, keep your goals in front of you, and make it a habit, and watch your environment, next thing you know, fortune, right? Fortune belongs to the blessed. No doubt about it. There is no be doubt. Blessed. And see, now, here's how simple blessings are. Every morning when you wake up, that is the greatest blessing you will have all day. Because think of how many people didn't survive to that morning. Yes, fortune. How many people are wanting to change spaces with you, places with you? You yes. know, when That's you wake favorite. up in the morning and you realize, first of all, thank you. You see, that's a prayer that I say every morning. That's favor. Yes. Four words I say every morning. The most powerful words outside of I am. I think on my, it's the prayer that I say. When I say thank you, because I'm telling my God, thank you, you woke me up. That is a blessing in itself. You woke me up. I got the, the blessing of wake up. Mm -hmm. And the second thing I always say, I always say thank you, more please. That is all. More right. please. More wake up, more success, more things of me doing what's right, more giving away what is you giving me, more of my lessons learned, mm -hmm. more of my education. You know, <clears throat> people talk about success. Success is not money. It's not. No. Money, money is merely a tool of exchange. That's all. You never ever, you want to stay broke? Work for money. You want to be successful? Work for success. Because if you're successful at the task that you're seeking and you're successful at it, the payday is automatic. Right. And as you That's work, the mindset. And as you're working for success, you're working in a realm of excellence and innovation. And you can be a creator. And again, what a miss said is fortune favors the blessed. Yes. Fortune favors the bold and courage attracts wealth. T take the courage, write down, do as we said today, write down your highest accomplishments, what you have a, des a burning desire to achieve in 2013. Write that down. Go to roadtosuccess2013.com and send us your answers. And there's a questionnaire there. Yes, you well, once, once you open up, it, you'll get an email with the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Once you sign on, you, we'll send you an, you'll automatically get an email. And you open the email, fill out the questionnaire, submit it, and we'll have the answers to be able to help you and guide you. And yeah. there's also uh, something free there. We aren't telling you what it is. Yeah, yeah. There, there's going to be a lot of free. Oh, there's going to be a lot of free. There's going to be a lot of, of free content for you to excel in your life today. You don't have to worry about the naysayers in your life anymore. You don't have to worry about the people that aren't there to celebrate you. We're here to celebrate you. We're here to help you move forward, advance your career, catch up, keep up, get fired up, and get ahead. We're going to help you do that. Oh, there's no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it. I think that's about all we got time for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, but we gave them a good opening to show them what, what we're going to do, where we're going to take them. Yeah, go I ahead. Mean, take a swallow of that water, right? That's now. it. Go ahead. You know, yeah, <laughs> go ahead and do what you got to do. I mean, what we've given you is not something that will take a lot of time. But, you know, like one thing, that you, can, you can make more money, but you can't make more time. No, you can't. That's a rare commodity. And so you don't right. put off tomorrow what you have to do. Now, I ain't saying what you want to do. What you have to do today. That's right. It's about being focused. We're already talking because about Because if that. those who said, I wish I started yesterday, I mean, I wish I started today, right. are behind those that started yesterday. Okay, so you got a Facebook page. We're going to all be a part of the Murray group. Yes. On the Facebook page. Yes. So that's facebook.com forward slash... Well, Very good. yeah. Well, you can go to two. I, I also have. I have a. Uh, no, we need one, man. Pick one tonight. <laughs> I have to look it up and see what it is. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> well, but I mean, William Murray, I'm on there. Yeah, but I mean, Kevin I, Langford, well, you're yeah, on there. Yeah, we all got a couple of Facebook pages, but we're gonna try and make it a central location. Well, I, I, for I, I our, have. For our I have. I have the Road to Success Mastermind Network. I didn't call it a group. It's a network. There's a difference between a group 
and a network. A network is like a mastermind. Is that on Facebook? Yes. And that's the go to the road, road to success mastermind network. Okay. And it's right. Just go to Facebook. Type it in. <laughs> Bam, I got to pop up. And if you can't find him, just go to Facebook yeah. Kevin Leonard Langford. How about that? I'll how do you, you spell, how you spell <laughs> Leonard? <laughs> now, see, you've been talking now. Yeah, now know, yeah, you're no longer Kevin, you are now Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, yeah, that's right. But uh, we appreciate the time. Thank you for having yeah, me on Yeah, you know, the show uh, I enjoy it. This is like the best. The best is still yet to come. We're going to evolve you, grow you, build you, and get you everywhere you want to go. All we ask you to do is when you do, reach back and bring someone with you. Because as the saying goes, if you push me, I'll pull you. If you pull me, I'll push you. But don't matter whether I'm pushing or pulling, we both going to reach our road to success. I thought the poem was a closing. Oh, you want me to go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. You like that? Wait till you hear this. Let me give it to him. Wait a Only as high as I reach, as I can reach, can I grow. Only as far as I seek, can I go. Only as deep as I look, can I see. Only as much as I dream, can I be. Dream it big. Dream big. Dream big. And we'll see you on the road to success. Until next time.